Yeah, he does. Hey, come on up, Joseph. All right. Okay. All right. You guys, uh, let's, let's Hello. My song is gone. All right. Go pick a stool. Pick a stool. Any one of these three. It doesn't matter. They're all the same. All right. Stand up, Bob. Pretty easy, right? That's pretty easy. That's not hard. Okay. Don't fall. Now stand on one foot. I think this is illegal. Oh. Um, I uh, think yeah, oh. a little tougher. Okay, maybe you can put your arms out. It's Touch your nose. Alright, ooh, Joseph. That's actually helps. Okay, oh. now we're gonna make it even funner. That's right, funner. Oh. More funny! Oh. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! 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 Alright, alright. Uh, let's see. Me! Me! Let's get where uh, Mr. Jeremy is. Oh yeah, we get to tag him. Sure. All right, before we get started, let's put that verse in the end. Who was uh, Isaiah? 
Before we get started, um, I always run short when I am up here, so I want to kind of put some things in, in between. Uh, so let's think about this verse here. So how many of you guys know a lot about eagles? Huh? You know, when I read this, a lot of times I like to question, why is an eagle in here, not a, a sparrow, a crow, or any type of other animal that flies? Why do y'all think eagles are in here? What do you think, Katie? One of the highest line birds. What do you think, Sal? No. Uh, the what? They're not scared of hardly anything. Okay. Fearless, okay. What else? You know, I think all of you guys are right. You know, when we're learning this word about perseverance, right? We're right. never giving up. Just continuing to fly through. But if you read about eagles, a lot of times when they get attacked, or it's like crows trying to fight them. What do you think they do? They. All right, Rachel, what do you think eagles do when crows try to attack them? They run away. They run away? They well, actually, they they do. actually, they do. They fly so high where the crows can't get to them. So, as we're learning about this, think about what eagles are. And it says it's going to give you a history. Right, and then it's going to go fly as high as eagles. Sometimes you got to get away from junk. Sometimes you got to get away from things that bother you. Sometimes you got to, you have to get away from sin for sure. Mm -hmm. And I think this verse that we're leading off with is perfect for today on what we're going to be talking about. So with that said, we're going to, I'm going to show you a few images. Please you raise your hand, and if you're a rising fourth grader, you are, okay, well, can you tell us the rules? Just ask me what kind of rules do we follow in here? Does anybody know the rules anymore? Don't talk while the teacher's rules? talking. Don't talk while the teacher's talking. Don't leave trash. Respect, yes. Respect. Respect who? Yeah, whatever. Hmm? Trash for trash? Does anybody remember the respect rules that we used to do a long time ago? Uh, yeah, joy rules. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, All right, let's go. Show me the first picture, Mr. Brian. Yeah. All right, what do you guys see up here? Uh, what is a broken building? Walmart building. House in the making. All right, how about an unfinished house? All right, we're still in the process. I still see that. We're still in the process. They got a lot of things to do. All right, next. I like trying to get Oh, that's All right, 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 raise your hand. Raise your hand. Chase. It's a puzzle in the making. Puzzle in the making. All right. Next. It's the. It's the, it's the, the question okay, it's a book. Uh, question mark. A question mark. Book in the making. I'm asking. Book in the making. All right. Next. No. Oh my gosh, that's not easy. Legos in the building. Making. Unfinished Lego building. All right, next. Carson. Oh, yeah, this is one I love. What is this? Vegetables. Raise your hand. Hey, what is it? Sparkling green beans. Unfinished vegetables. Come on, you guys are on your way. This is probably like you're playing at home a lot of times with eating vegetables, sad. right? No, it's kind of a lot of vegetables. Alright, so vegetables. what? what I just uh, eat carrots. Listen up. What do all these images have in common? They're unfinished. They're unfinished, right? If we, if we think about our lives, how often do we begin something and not finish it? A lot. Right? And sometimes the things that truly don't really matter, I guess, but then there are things that, that really matter. Like, you know, sometimes your devotion, uh, spending time with Jesus. And there's times you may be in a, in a team and you get hurt. Maybe a time. 
time that you may be pushed maybe push for time if you're working on a project at school and how do you find the strength to get through it so you can turn it in on time whatever that may be so today what we're going to do we're going to show Mr. Tyler's going to come out here and if you guys know Mr. Tyler he runs a pretty good bit right look at him yes sir yeah. he's, running. Well, he's going to go in a race he's going to do in a race I'm and Look at those quads! Look at the quads! So we know Mr. Tyler's going to do really good in his race. Um, he, he, he's a fast, fast runner. But you know what, guys? Woo! We need to help him. How many guys? How many of you think we need to help him? Me. Kind of get ready. Me. Me. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to help. Him. So we're going to give him a backpack before he gets started. Okay? Give him a backpack, Mr. Tyler. Uh, okay. Uh, if you put it on for us, and, I, and I'm going to prepare him before he gets to the race. Okay? So I know Mr. Tyler loves sports. Okay? Football. He loves sports. So I'm going to pack him on football. Uh, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to pack him on football in his backpack. That way, as he's running, before he gets to the start line, he has a good football to run with, right? Hmm? Yeah, exactly. And then, I know he's a gamer. How many of you guys are gamers? How many of you guys like to play games? Oh, no. No. Yeah? So we'll, we'll pack him a little uh, like free remote for the race as well. Computer gamer, all right. So we're gonna pack this, this here, and there we go. He's, 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 we're getting them ready, and we're gonna do like a half this half marathon or full marathon. What do you think? Full marathon. A full? A half? Let's do a full. We're gonna we better prepare him a little bit more. And I know he's big. And that's how he got the big quads, uh, lifting weights. So yeah. We're gonna pack him some weights. Uh, I can do them. Tanya, I can do it. I got a brother. What? I could do it. That makes you stronger. Why would you run with all that? Why would you run anyway? Who runs these things? Yeah, we're going to do it. may fall off. Now he's ready, guys. Is he ready? Yeah. Are you ready to run? No. Heavy, brother. I don't know if I can. Are you going to go to have a seat, have a seat, have a seat, okay. Yeah, have a seat, have a seat. So guys, a lot of times, uh, even, even runners, he was going to run a marathon, does this make sense? And it reminds me of Hebrews 12, 1. Okay, it reminds me of Hebrews 12, 1. I need somebody to read this for me real loud. Jill, help us out! A huge cloud of witnesses is all around us, so let us throw off everything that stands in our way. Let us not throw off any sin, let us throw off any sin that holds on to us so tightly. Let us keep on running the race marked out for us. Woo. So guys, you know better than anyone what your sins are. You know better than anyone here what your struggles are. And I tell you, that's one something that, that I've always believed in. Just because you're convicted of your sins, don't try to convict people of their sins. That's that, 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 that the Holy Spirit for that. You need to point them out. Say, hey, I don't think you're doing something here, but then, then leave it at that. But when I read this, you know, it says a huge cloud of witnesses is all around us. All right, let's think about a stadium. If you guys are in the store, it should have an image of a stadium up there, Mr. Tate. Um, think about a stadium, guys. And you pick the 49er, I wish it would have been kind of like Bulldog, but it's all right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't say anything. So, San Francisco, so think about all the people before you guys were here that have passed in faith that were Christians. People like Moses, people like Noah, people like David, people like King Josiah. What about some of those people that have passed, right? They're, they're watching all of us today. But yet, we're carrying, like Mr. Tyler, we've got this heavy bag on us. And they're all cheering us on, but we cannot separate ourselves from sin. And we're carrying this heavy burden, heavy weight on us. And I would say we're, we're giving it to Christ Jesus. But we still want to hold on to them. Still want to hold on to them. Now, I don't want anybody here to mishear me. Okay? It's funny that he has a football game up there. But... Oh, let's get this football out. So if you 
like sports. I mean, you got show of hands, ladies too. I just say guys in general like sports. Me. Yeah, we all. I think we all do. Is there something wrong with sports? No. Yeah. No, there's nothing wrong with sports. When it becomes a problem or an issue, it's when this becomes your life. When this takes precedence, or you do it before anything else. Okay, when when you start saying, "Hey, you know what? I'm gonna ignore God. I'm gonna ignore my family because I wanna." And I'll be lying to you if I said I wasn't guilty of that during fall season. It's starting to get a little better, but during fall season, it gets tough for me because I, I really truly enjoy watching football. Uh, so I try to do all my hunting with this during that spring and the summer. But that can become a very distraction if you're not careful. Now, what about games? Ooh. What about games? Mm -hmm. I'm talking to you, right? Yeah. What about games? <laughs> what about games? Look, there's a collar was sitting up here. Or I was, and I hear you guys talking about games while people are trying to teach. Okay, what about games? What about them? Are, can games become a problem? Yes. Are games in itself a problem? Yes. No, 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 they're not. They're really not. How they not the ground? They can become the issue if all you're thinking about is buying the next skin or playing whatever game you play, whether it's it maybe a sports game. I don't know. Madden. Yeah, there you go. And I'll be honest, I used to play a pretty good bit. I need to get back Pac -Man. to it. Pac-Man. Huh? Pac-Man. Pac-Man, there you go. Oh, Alright, so it can become an issue, right? It can become an issue. Alright, we're gonna go back to Hebrews 12 1. So I wanna go back to this. So think about it again, where me and watch. We got everybody that's passed before us and, and they're watching us. And it says, What? Let us throw off any what? Any what? Throw what? Any sin? Yeah. Any sin. So when you look at the weights, there's nothing good. Not necessarily weight for what for lifting, but sin. You want to say this is sin? Nothing good about sin. Nothing at all. And it comes in, in, in multiple different ways, right? We're going to say this is anger. Mm. How many of you guys ever get angry? Mm -hmm. You may get angry at a situation, angry at your sibling, mm. at your parents, at anybody, right? This is, it creeps up on us. It creeps up on us and we become angry. Not good. Well, what about what about if you don't have an issue with that? Well, you got an issue with jealousy, envy. You're jealous or envy somebody else on what they have. You're saying, "Hey, God, what I have, what you've given me, it's not good enough. I want what they have."
multiple times to do something. So today we're, we're learning on how to just throw any sin that holds on to us tightly, or we're going to get tight. Don't let it go. We're going to sing. And then we're going to go to, uh, into, into life groups, small groups, to talk about some of that. Okay? What does that look like? What does that mean? I better find my thing. What gets in the way of finishing what you start? Okay, Jesus, when you look at Jesus, Jesus broke away. One, we read a lot in the Bible about Jesus going to pray in the mornings. We read a lot about Jesus praying sometimes at night, and sometimes he just broke away from his, all his disciples and apostles and just went to pray. He knew the importance of it. He knew what his purpose was. He knew what he had to do to get things done, to persevere, and finish. <coughs> Right in fourth graders, fifth and sixth graders, they're old enough now to know right from wrong. They're old enough, way old enough, to start getting in some kind of daily devotion, spending time with God, praying. Right this morning, one of the things that I've been doing, I'm trying to add something good. One, uh, one thing to add every month that's good, and I've added this uh, the word for the day, and today was prayer. And that's what I was talking about. How Jesus made it a priority to pray. It's God himself making it a priority. I think he wanted us, I don't think I know. He wanted us to know how important that is. So let me pray for y'all. We'll pray for our worship leaders. And uh, think about perseverance and what is talking to you. We'll finish and we'll start by. Father God, we just thank you so much for your love. Thank you for your word. We thank you for who you are in us. Lord, we know that any time in our lives that we are doing something to glorify your name, Father, we're going to have so much thrown at us to derail us, to prevent us from finishing what we start, to prevent us from spending time with you. Father, let that Holy Spirit convict us and do it one day and come back running to you. Lord, we love you. We thank you for the worship leaders that are coming up here to sing with us and spend time with you, to worship with you, and Father, just reflect on your love for us. We love you. Amen. Mm -hmm.